Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome back. My name is Luke and I want to talk to you today about a very, very special destination. One of my favorites. In fact, I think it is my favorite to take photographs in ever. And um, yeah, just really, really is really beautiful and amazing. And of course, there's elephants galore. Now, that's not to say there's only elephants. For those of you that are a little bit clued up on safari, you probably know that I'm talking about Amboseli in Kenya. Um, if you've seen some of the famous photographs of it, unfortunately I don't have it, one of those photos, but of Kilimanjaro in the background, an elephant walking in the foreground or whatever it is, you know that classic cliche photograph with that beautiful mountain, but that's where I'm talking about Amboseli. It is just the most stunning game reserve. Um, you know, it comprises of obviously Mount Kilimanjaro in the background. It's got beautiful floodplains, uh, which are actually quite deep. They're kind of like lakes. Um, and then as you drive further out, you get to these dry lake beds. Of course, they do fill up after some good rains, but uh, the dry lake beds are also a big, big feature. Anyway, today what I wanted to do was just show you guys a few photographs that I captured on my last safari to Amboseli. That was last year, September, I think. Yeah. Um, and then just talk to you about them and show you just how amazing this uh, destination is and how much uh, joy you can get out of your own photography. Now, I'm sitting here today, I've got my screen in front of me, I'm talking to you over there, I've got a little control pad over here and I can swap between my face, even though you don't really want to watch it too often, and uh, my photographs and my, my computer. So let's jump straight in and uh, have a look at the first shot. So this shot, and um, you know, please excuse the uh, windows taskbars and things like that, but this shot uh, was one of the very first shots I took in Amboseli and uh, we had just arrived, we were staying at a, at a place, a lodge called uh, Altakai, which is really cool, it's quite big, um, but really cool, and um, right in the middle of Amboseli, um, you know, it's, it's incredible, I mean, as you drive in, there's an old lodge that they had to abandon just because the lake beds were growing and growing, and these uh, lodges kind of got consumed. Uh, by that and they just had to abandon it and rebuild so we'll see how long the current location lasts but uh, yeah it really is quite cool to drive through this old spooky abandoned lodge anyway this was one of the first shots that I took um, while I was there and we were just um, you know just setting up our camera gear getting ready to go out that afternoon and here came a big beautiful elephant herd walking across the plains now this photograph is quite cropped in um, it was taken with a 300 millimeter uh, f2.8 lens with a Nikon D850 um, for those of you that follow me for a while, you know that I love Nikon and I've shot with them for a long time. But uh, yeah, I just thought this was so incredible, so beautiful. And you know, there, there was many other elephants. This is obviously a crop out of the, the actual herd moving, but there was probably about 30 of them uh, that were moving across the, the plains. And uh, just as we were getting into it, these little sand devils started to come up, these dust devils, if you will. And um, I just feel like it added um, so much epicness to this. And as I say, you look out one side of Amboseli and this is what the environment looks like, very dry and barren and so forth. And then you look the other way and you're going to see some photos now. And uh, it's all just beautiful lush lakes with, uh, well, water systems and, or water bodies with elephants just swimming and everything else really swimming. Anyway, let's jump in. Let's carry on going. This was a, a photograph one morning we were looking for the famous black serval uh, of the Amboseli, which loads of people have tried to see now. Um, and we unfortunately didn't see. I know your Hun saw it, so please go check out his pages and you, you should see some photographs there. Uh, but yeah, anyway, on the way there, we came across this remarkable scene of this big herd of elephants moving in uh, from the... Um, um, if you, as you can imagine, as you can see the ridges over there, coming in from the ridges down, back down into the valley and down towards the lakes. It seems to be what the, what the elephants do on a daily basis is they kind of breathe into the Amboseli and then in the evening they breathe out. They go back up to the ridges where they can feed and in the morning they come back down and you get these beautiful morning scenes, beautiful morning lights of them coming through uh, the parched landscape towards those beautiful sources of water. Um, anyway, let's jump on to the next one. This is on that dry lake bed. Um, so you actually go out uh, quite far from Altukai uh, and you get to the lake bed and this is where you see all of these elephants coming in, um, or more elephants, more and more and more, coming across the dry lake bed from the ridges. And what's really cool is the elephants are quite used to people um, lying down and taking some really cool shots. And you'll see as I go through a few more photographs that some of the bulls get really close. They, they're actually quite comfortable with it. Um, you do have to be careful and you do have to have a guide that knows what they're doing. So please, you know, don't get too carried away. Don't do anything disrespectful. This is not what we're there to take photographs or, or, or not what we're there for to be disrespectful, if you know what I mean. We're there to respect wildlife and give them their comfort zones. And what I usually find with elephants is that if you give them the distance, you let them feel comfortable. Very often they come closer to you. And in my experience, when elephants come closer to you, it's usually in a very comfortable manner. They're coming to investigate. They're coming to look at you. Um, whereas 
the other approach is to just shoot right up on them, get right close to them and put them into an uncomfortable situation and then see how things unfold. And, you know, having experienced that myself before as well, it's not going to go your way. Anyway, let's jump back to the photographs. Um, so this is what I was saying, one of these big bull elephants um, coming across the dry lake bed. And this is taken lying flat on my stomach, uh, straight across the sand. And it is just so much fun to photograph these things. I mean, look at these tusks. This boy is just beautiful. All right, let's continue. This was a baby or a rose eagle owl chick that we found the one day, just coming out of the camp, hiding underneath a little bush. Uh, beautiful, just sat there, um, you know, for us to photograph. Obviously, it thought it was in secrecy, but uh, we did catch it thanks to our very good, uh, the eyes of our very good guide, Ken, who forms part of our uh, Kenyan staff, Wild Eye Kenyan staff. Fantastic guide, good fun to be around. Um, this was on our last evening, uh, a whole stream of wildebeest. One of the main aims um, of this safari was to get backlit dust coming up. Um, and, you know, the Amicelli just gives you many, many opportunities like that. But, yeah, back to the photograph. This um, was, you know, this is just one of, of probably dozens, maybe even hundreds of wildebeest and zebra that were moving across the plains that day. And he just decided to do a little disco move for us right there. Um, this is the same elephant herd that we will talk about earlier. Um, now we start getting to some of the water um, and of course, you know, there's water everywhere. Uh, it's, it's beautiful. It's one of a kind um, sort of place. And I'm just noticing that my screen is pixelating. Anyway, there we go. Um, so yeah, here is another big elephant bull. I believe it's the same bull. Um, sure, this was one day we were driving out towards that dry lake bed looking for the black serval and we came across uh, some little kitty cats moving through and I just thought this is such a cool full pride portrait um, of all the members. You can see these two dorks over here busy playing around. Fantastic, we've got the big boy there. And these are some of the views you can expect in the Amboseli. These far away rolling hills and then open floodplains, dry floodplains and then eventually the wet lake beds. Um, Cool zebra shots. I um, actually gave this image away as a high resolution copy recently to uh, a long time follower of mine, Barbara. So thank you, Barbara, for always being there and liking and commenting. And I hope you enjoy your image. Um, once again, this is going back into the water. And this is what these elephants do daily. They come down into the water, they feed, they have fun, they play, they, they uh, rip out vegetation and just get super carried away. Um, Cool. This is a beautiful landscape. Uh, what you can expect going out towards the dry lake beds. You can see there is a bit of moisture out there. Uh, there's a little gazelle here busy feeding, but nice big herd of elephants coming through. Um, let's have a quick look. This is one of my favorite shots, actually. Um, same morning. Um, how cool is that? I've really been working on this sort of photography recently, animals in their environment. Um, so yeah, let's just cycle through a few images. Beautiful sunsets on our first evening. Um, all these shots were taken basically on a Nikon D850 with a 300mm. I very rarely deviate from those. I do have a 70 to 200 that I go to sometimes. Um, but yeah, that's also one of my favorites. Oh, the flamingo action. Um, but yeah, guys, I think that kind of gives you a pretty good idea of what Amboseli is. There's loads of elephants. There's definitely cats. Uh, we did see a cheetah. It was a bit far off. Um, you know, and it is just one of the most stunning places in the world. So please, if you are thinking about going on safari to Kenya, think about adding Amboseli to your itinerary. It will blow your mind. And uh, I look forward to possibly guiding you on that. So yeah, give me a shout if you want to get, uh, get yourselves here. And if you want me to guide you, I'll be more than happy to do that. Anyway, see you guys in the next one. Cheers.